gentleman from Oklahoma, Mr. Bridenstine. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and thank you to our astronauts. <clears throat> I wanted to ask a question. There's a growing concern among members on this committee about the orbital debris problem that's in low Earth orbit. And I wanted to ask a question about um, some of the precautionary measures. I know that they're remote and the probability is low, but uh, can you share with us what your precautionary measures are and also how often they occur and if it impacts your ability to do your work on the space station? Yes, sir. So uh, that's a, a pretty uh, complicated problem. And, you know, when you see the graphics, you see all the stuff that's uh, flying around the Earth, the space junk. And, you know, Chell and I just recently went outside, and you can see all the little dings on the outside of the space station. They're all over the place from stuff that's hit the station. Now, fortunately, you know, most of that stuff is small and uh, hasn't done any significant damage, but there is damage done, and there's obviously the chance of... Uh, uh, more significant damage. There's shielding on many parts of the space station outside that will prevent, um, you know, some kind of catastrophic uh, impact from small things and uh, and things in orbit. Stuff that's uh, you know coming from, you know, deep space is 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 going much faster and pre presents even a larger problem. But there's really nothing we can do about about that. Um, occasionally, we have to move the space station. Um, we've probably done it since I've been up here maybe, I don't know, maybe five times. Um, you know, the U.S. Air Force can track a lot of, uh, a lot of stuff, but some st stuff they can't see. Some stuff we see very late, and we had a case where, uh, you know, I had to close all, I, I don't know, maybe 20 hatches on the U.S. side of the space station, and we had to go down to the Russian Soyuz. And uh, you know, the time of uh, closest approach to pass because we didn't have time to move the space station. So there is, uh, you know, there are things we can do to mitigate, mitigate the risk uh, with shielding, with moving the space station, with sheltering in place should we not have the, the time to do that. But I think, I think, you know, space is very important. Um, you know, technology today relies on it. And I think we really need to protect the uh, the environment that our satellites uh, fly in, and uh, you know, by not creating any more debris, and you know, potentially looking at ways to reduce the debris that uh, currently exists, because that is such a critical capability uh, for our nation and for the world. 